All right, so most Samsung uh, devices are flagships, but there's also this kind of mid-range um, line of phones that have been coming out that are supposed to be really high quality for about half the cost or even a third of the cost of um, some of these flagship devices. So right here is a Honor 8. This is made by the same company, uh, Huawei. They made the Nexus. They made the Nexus uh, Six. They have a. They have a model that's a little bit cheaper. I think it's like the Honor Six X, and then um, the Honor Nine. But I don't believe that is being released in the U.S. or it hasn't been released. But this one retails for about, I want to say, uh, $350 to $400. Comes in 32 gigabyte or 64 gigabyte. It's an unlocked phone, so you can use it anywhere. Um, the reason I picked this up is because my Galaxy devices are CDMA. I need a GSM phone for when I go overseas. So that is when I will use this Honor 8. So let's go ahead and open it up. So from what I've read online, this phone is very similar to a Galaxy S7. Fingerprint scanner is supposed to be super fast. Um, packaging on it is really nice. So it looks like you get a Fast charger, this is proprietary. Uh, if you use a different charger, it's not going to charge as fast. Um, it is USB-C. And I think this is called like either rapid charge or dash charge or there it is right there, Huawei uh, quick charge. But I think the OnePlus One does something similar where it's um, their own proprietary charger. But then if you use like the samsung fast charger it won't uh register as quickly so here is the actual phone itself design is very reminiscent of almost like um an iphone so i would say the best way to describe this is iphone mixed with a galaxy or like an android so it looks really similar to kind of the iPhone uh, 7 and possibly the 8 metal bezels, power button, volume, uh, SIM card. It does take a micro SIM. Oh no, it doesn't take a micro SIM. It takes a nano SIM and it also takes a micro SD card as well. This is a dual flash camera. So up here, or not dual flash, a dual lens camera. It can do uh, bokeh effects and other kind of dual lens features. I believe this is the first budget line phone where it advertises the dual lens. Just looking at it real quick like this, um, I mean, this is actually pretty perfect for like one-handed use. Uh, it's not infinity display but again just really sleek um, like where the fingerprint scanner is placed and for a budget phone I was able to pick this up for two hundred and eighty dollars for the 64 gigabyte it's not too bad and again unlocked so can take it anywhere which I'm planning to do and not have to um, worry about you know if i drop it and it cracks just because it's not a thousand dollar device it's a three hundred dollar device so it makes it a little more a little more easier to kind of risk if you're traveling overseas so here it is the honor 8 um once i get everything going on it and activate it and play around with it i'll update this but for the time being just quick unboxing um feels really good and if you can pick it up for I'd say like under 300, not a bad deal at all. Uh, if you wait till Black Friday, I think it might even drop to like 
the 225 230 range which if you consider you're getting it without a contract or any sort of like service agreement or lease agreement you're just owning it outright uh, pretty good deal for solid feeling piece of hardware